Let's compare the Ultra Sabers Apprentice V4 family of hilts to the Ultra Sabers Initiate V4 family of hilts. And these hilts are very similar in a lot of ways. So they have the same dimensions to them. They're all 1.45 inches in diameter, and they are also all 9.875 inches long. So no size difference there. And they're also considered to be some of the more affordable sabers produced by Ultra Sabers. So they're some of the cheapest hilts they have. And all of them are relatively commonly received as grab bag sabers and mystery box sabers as well. So if you purchase an initiate saber or an apprentice saber, these types of hilts will come with a 24 inch blade, which is a bit shorter than the standard 32 or 36 inch blade. And if you do want to upgrade to that longer blade, that's going to cost an extra $10 to upgrade to 32 inches or 36 inches. Now, if you do receive any of these hilts as a grab bag saver or mystery box saver, they will come standard with a full size blade. So that is one of the differences if you receive these as a grab bag saver or mystery box saver versus if you just purchase these on your own through the website. Okay, so all of these come in four styles. So you have for apprentice or initiate, the kind of standard solid um, kind of metallic style. And then you have the LE version, which will have these gold accent marks. If it were initiate LE, the accent marks would be in these grooves and these upper grooves as well. And then you have the dark version. So this is dark apprentice V4. And then you have Dark Apprentice LE V4, which would have some silver accent marks here and at the top. And same thing with Initiate, you would have a solid, um, solid black hilt for Dark Initiate and a solid black hilt with a few metallic um, elements for the Dark Apprentice LE V4. So you'd have that. And then the windows in the emitter for these hilts do look a bit different. So that is an upgrade feature. If you want to add windows to the emitter, that's an additional $5, whether you get an initiate saber or an apprentice saber. And you'll notice that for the apprentice ones, the windows are quite a bit more horizontal. And in the initiate hilt, the windows are much more vertical. So a little bit of a difference there. Eh, I guess I should leave them here. Also looking at kind of the emitter area. So well, the overall kind of look of the hilts, the apprentice I find quite a bit boxier and the initiate to me seems a little more curved. So that's kind of how I see it, especially you look up at the emitter area. That's certainly the case. Apprentice V4 has a more pronounced choke point right here, a kind of tapered area. And that's kind of a, a neat little accent mark, I think, on the saber. But on the flip side, you have the initiate saber, and there's still a little bit of a taper here, but I also kind of like the grooves at the top. You could add something like an O-ring, or, or you could just kind of uh, decorate that a bit, or, well, you can see when the grooves have a different color, it's kind of attractive, so. That's something I do like about the Initiate Saber. And then kind of by the button area, they're pretty similar, but you can see that this whole area uh, near the AV switch on this Saber is a bit longer than on the Initiate. And then finally, the grip area is quite a bit different. So the grip area on the Apprentice V4 family, these kind of grooves are a lot smaller and it's kind of comfortable. I think I prefer the grip on the Apprentice V4 over the Initiate V4, but that's me. On the other hand, it does look pretty nice if you add like some O-rings or something to the grip area on the Initiate V4. And you can see that the grip area on these sabers, um, there's, there's a lot more, uh, it's kind of a longer grip area on the Apprentice V4 versus the Initiate V4. I guess, unless you count maybe this, this part of it, but if you're looking at the middle part, this part's just, you know, a little bit shorter. 
Now both of the Sabres have MHS compatible pommels, so you can swap out those pommels with a variety of Ultra Sabres pommels and you can use couplers and things and you can also use a variety of custom saber shop pommels. So that's kind of a nice way to dress up the sabers if you want. So I think that pretty much covers most of what I wanted to say. My final thought was, I guess, that if you want kind of a longer saber, so one thing, all of these sabers are a little bit short, so they're more of a one-handed saber for a lot of people, except for maybe kids. Um, maybe two-handed a little bit, but if you did want to go for a longer saber, both of these styles have essentially a longer saber version that has a different name. So for the Initiate, the longer version of the Initiate is the Aeon V4 and the Dominix V4. So this is, or this is a Dominix LE V4, but same difference. You can see how it's just a little more stretched out than the Initiate. And then on the other side of things, with the Apprentice V4, the longer version is the Sentinel V4 and the Dark Sentinel V4. And yeah, if you want a longer saber, you may as well go for that. Also, if you were thinking about adding the longer blade to these guys, um, well, that puts the price of the Apprentice V4 and Initiate V4 pretty much on par with the price of these longer sabers. So. If you're kind of teetering which saber you want and you'd maybe prefer that longer saber, it could be about the same price. Um, so that's something to factor in if you were looking at kind of any of these sabers versus their longer counterparts. The price may end up being about the same if you want the longer blade. So those are kind of the main things that I can think of <laughs> that you should know about the sabers. Which one should you get over the other? I mean, that is really up to you. There are elements of the design that I like about both of these. So um, yeah, it's up to you which you prefer. But that's about it for now. Feel free to let me know in the comment section which of these do you prefer. Do you prefer one of the Apprentice? types of hilts or one of the initiate types of hilts or would you prefer kind of one of the longer counterparts like the sentinel or dark sentinel or the aeon or dominix let me know in the comment section